वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.40 सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द सॉलिड स्पिंडल ए बी हैज डायमीटर डी एस वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इंच एंड इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टील विद जी इज दिस एंड एलाबल शेयरिंग स्टेल इज ट्वेल्व के एस आई वाइल स्लीव सी डी इज मेड अप ऑफ ब्रास विद जी इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस पॉइंट सिक्स पी एस आई एंड एलाबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवन के एस आई डिटरमाइन the largest torque t that can applied at a if the given allowable shearing stress are not to be exceeded and if the angle of twist of sleeve cd is not exceed to 0.375 degree and in b part the corresponding angle through which and a rotate so you can see this is a solid spindle that is welded or that is joined with this uh, brass sleeve clear and at the end a torque t is applied so due to uh, this torque we have to find the corresponding angle through which point a rotates and we will also find the maximum torque that we can apply so let's start with the solution we know that shearing stress is equal to t into c divided by j so we are since in part first we are interested to find out torque so torque will be equal to ta into j divided by c so we will find j and c for this uh, spindle ab and sleeve so first for spindle ab that is made up of steel so you can see that diameter of this spindle is given as 1.75 so ds is 1.75 inch so its radius c will be equal to 1 over ds over 2 which is equal to 1.75 divided by 2 and that is equal to 0.875 inch length of this spindle will be equal to you can see this is total length of this spindle ab is 8 plus 4 which is 12 so length is equal to 12 inch also allowable shearing stress for this spindle is given as 12 ksi and g is this one 12 ksi so now you can just put uh, uh, you can just put it in this formula and we will also find the same things for sleeve so that we should not return to this calculating this term so for sleeve cd you can see that outer diameter is given as 3 inch and thickness is 1 over 4 inch so outer radius c outer will be 3 divided by 2 i will write it c outer will be equal to um, 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 inch and you can see that c inner will be equal to c outer minus thickness let me show you this from center till this is c outer and this is thickness t so this distance c inner will be equal to c outer minus thickness t so c outer is 1.5 and thickness is 1.1 1 by 4 which is 0.25 so we will get c inner is 1.25 inch length is given as length of sleeve is given as 8 inch so i will write 8 inch and ta allowable is 7 ksi that is given in the in this now what we will do is that you will find uh, for finding largest in part a we have been asked to find largest allowable torque so what we will do we will find first stress in spindle ab so we know that shearing stress is equal to 
t into c divided by j so from here you will find torque t which is equal to ta into j divided by c so you have all the values available so what we will get is tar t is equal to ta ta is 12 ksi for this so 12 in into length which is 12 inch 12 uh, let me check it ta is 12 ksi length is also 12 okay so this is j you will find j here j is equal to pi by 2 c power 4 so pi by 2 multiply by c is 0 0.875 power 4 and when you calculate it you will get 0 0.920 inch power 4 so here ta is 12 KSI J is 0 0.92977 divided by C is 0 0.875 and when you calculate it you will get the torque is 12.63 kips into inch okay so this is the torque T is 12.63 kips into inch that is developed in you can apply it in rod eb now we will find for sleeve for sleeve cd again you can see torque will be equal to ta into j divided by c this is the same equation so allowable sharing stress is given as 7 ksi so 7 multiplied by j so it is a sleeve so pi by 2 into c outer c outer is 1.5 power 4 minus c inner which is 1.25 power 4 divided by c outer and c outer is 1.5 okay so when you calculate it you will get torque will be equal to 19.21 unit will be kips into inch and this is the torque that can be applied in sleeve cd now we will find uh, torque that is criteria is based on angle of twist angle of twist of sleeve cd so angle of twist is given is given that it should not increase 0 0.375 degree we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 degree will be equal to 2 pi over 360 radian uh, that will be equal to pi by 180 dig, dig radian so what we will do is that we will multiply theta is equal to 0 0.375 multiply by pi divided by 180 and it will be converted it into radian so theta will be equal to 6.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian now we know that uh, theta is equal to angle of twist equal to tl divided by gj so what we will do is we will put we are interested to find out torque so torque is equal to gj into theta divided by l so just put the value t is equal to g for uh, sleeve is given as 5.6 into 10 to power 6 5.6 into 10 to power 6 and uh, j is pi by 2 into 1.5 power 4 minus 1.25 power 4 divide into theta 
and theta is 1.65 uh, sorry this is 6.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by length which is 8 inch okay so when you calculate it you will get the torque t that is based on angle of twist and this is skips into inch so now you can see that we have three torque one is this in rod a b other in sleeve cd and third one is also in sleeve cd but uh, the angle of twist should be equal to this one so what to select so if uh, we will select the uh, the answer the largest uh, the largest torque that we can be applied largest torque is 12.63 kips into inch you will you can see that these are the three torques this this the value is the smallest this is the largest and this is also largest so we why we have selected this value because if you choose this value and put it in the formula torque is equal to ta into j divided by c for ab for spindle ab so you can see that this with shear stress is equal to t into c divided by j so torque is 12.63 uh, sorry nine we have to select the lar largest in order to show why we haven't select that 9.21 into 10 to the power 3 c is 0 0.875 divided by j for spindle is 0 0.2077 and that is equal to 18255 psi r in ksi is it is 18.25 ksi which is greater than allowable sharing stress in spindle ab 18.25 while in spindle ab allowable sharing stress is 12 ksi so we cannot choose this value similarly you can also put and check this value will also exceed the allowable sharing stress in spindle ab so that's why we select the smallest because it will satisfy this as well as this so this is the largest torque that can be applied this is the answer of our this part okay now we will move towards second part and in second part it is given to find out in part b we have to find angle of rotation angle of rotation of end a so angle of rotation at end a will be equal to angle of e with respect to d or relative to d is equal to angle of twist between point a and b plus angle of twist between point c and d let me show you here you can see the total angle of twist at point a is equal to angle of a with respect to d this is the so that is equal to angle of twist of a with respect to b plus angle of twist with of c with respect to d because this will also twist and this will also twist so net effect at end a will be this one okay so theta a will be equal to we know that theta is equal to in general if there are more than one shaft so angle of twist is represented as t i l i divided by g i j i since we have torque is given torque is torque which we have selected is 12.63 kips so this will become equal to torque into l i divided by g i this will become if you take torque as common so torque and sum of l i divided by j i g i 
So just put the value torque is 12.63 into 10 raised to power 3 in Li. So for uh, AB length is 8 plus 4, 12. So 12 divided by Ji for uh, solid spindle is 0 0.29077 and G for that was 111.2 into 10 raised to power 6. You can check it. Plus length of sleeve is 8 divided by when you calculate J that is for sleeve so it will be 4.11 because J for sleeve will be equal to pi by 2 C outer which is 1.5 power 4 minus 1.25 power 4 C which is C inner which is 4.1172 and G for sleeve is 5.6 into 10 to power 6. So this is the angle of twist at point A when you calculate it will be 0 0.1908 radian and when now you know that 1 radian is equal to uh, 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi so multiply 180 degree divided by pi that will give you theta a and theta a will be 1.093 degree and this is the answer of our second part that was all about this problem 3.40 uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned it keep practicing the question like this you will be able to understand and do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching